Okay, so I'm on my little test machine right now, running Lucid, and um, you know, Lucid is a really good distro. You know, it's it's very very uh, stable. You know, because it is an LTS. Um, you know, I was running Lucid on, on this machine for a very long time. Um, I believe I skipped Maverick and just went straight to Natty. You know, but anyways, um, I did have a problem with USB Wi-Fi, and at the time I had to compile my own driver. You know, go to Rylink, I believe it's called, and download the driver, the source code, or whatever, and compile it. And it was a real big issue, and you know, I could never, uh, it was always a hassle. But anyways, when I decided to go back to Lucid right now to test it out again, you know, just to, because of the stability and, you know, the way it is, um, I had to overcome that problem again. So what I'm talking about is these little USB Wi-Fi sticks, right? There's a particular driver, or a chipset, I mean, that's not really working right on Lucid. It's the uh, RT2870 forward slash uh, 3070, right? And if you have a Linux machine or whatever, um, plug in that Wi-Fi dongle. If it's working, go ahead and open up your terminal and type uh, uh, LSUSB. And here it is right here. This is the uh, the Wi-Fi dongle, right? But if you're on Maverick, Natty, or whatever, it should say uh, wireless technology, Rylink, uh, 2874 slash, you know, 3070. If it's that particular set, <clears throat> it won't work on Lucid, right? So the way I overcame this problem was by going to uh, Disguise uh, PPA, went into his package listing, right? He has a pre-compiled driver or module or whatever uh, in a dev in a dev package already. So that's good. You know you, that that saves the time of uh, trying to compile and stuff. So it's right there. So just get yourself on onto a, a computer that has uh, internet and just download it, put on USB, right? Then make your way over to Lucid, your Lucid machine. Right, here's a dev package. Go ahead and install that. I already have it installed. Install that, but now you gotta edit some files because when it's when that module is loading, I guess it's conflicting or something with another driver. So it has to do with the listing, it's not listed properly. So you have to blacklist it. So uh anyways. Here we go. Now let's go to open up our terminal again. Oops, sorry about that. Copy this paste hit enter all right here we go here's a blacklist so we're gonna blacklist uh, these driver sets right here the RT2800 and the RT2870 right and we're gonna have that dead package we just downloaded load when it, when the machine starts the RT3070 right let's go ahead and copy this At the very bottom of that list, go ahead and paste it into there, right? So that that's blacklisted. So we're going to save that, close that off. Now we're going to copy this, paste into there. Now we want the uh, modules to load. Close off saving. Sorry about that. I messed up right here. That's wrong. Copy. I'll fix that when I post in the description down below. <laughs> there we go uh, I need my coffee alright so these are modules I mean our, our load modules I guess so I'm going to copy that paste that and save it so now all you got to do now is, is uh, close without saving is restart your machine and have your USB uh, Wi-Fi thing and you know plugged in, of course, and you know boot into your desktop and you should be able to connect it, right? Once you're there, go ahead and run your updates. And also, if you, yeah, I think it's also necessary if you want to, because this is what I did. Um, the guy where I got the uh, that dead package, he has a PPA, of course. Just go ahead and add his PPA to keep it up to date. Um, but the problem was, even even though I did that, after I ran my update and, and installed a newer kernel right um the wi-fi stopped working again so to fix that problem just reinstall the dead reinstall the dead package then reboot your system and you should be fine again so that's pretty much it um i know it's a little bit of a hassle but you know that's your internet connection you know it's kind of important so anyways i uh, hope that helped anybody out there i know this is like a major bug for a lot of people um that's why i'm making this video because i feel it's you know necessary to put some type of information out there so Anyways, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll put the listing. I'll put a link to the bug report 
uh, as well as the the uh, the dead package and other things as well. So, anyways, see you guys later.